morning. I have a friend with me this morning. I've invited to my early morning yoga session. Yeah, my good husband. morning. Here in the pool. I'm quite tired and I'm quite scared because I don't do this very often. Um, yeah, so I've done a couple of these now and um, Paul's done a little bit of running while here on the island so he was quite keen to join for one of the classes because I think you need to say for yourself that you don't feel like you could probably stretch as much as you'd like to. No, that's right and I'm pretty inflexible so it's nice to, um, nice to do this sort of thing. Yeah, so um, I'm going to try and work out where Paul's tight and we'll do um, just a short might just be, um, we'll see how we go, 20 or 30 minutes um, this morning. Um, it'll be a nice gentle one. We'll probably hold some of these stretches for a little bit longer this morning. Um, and I'll try and work out as we go along how to loosen up Paul's body. Yeah, probably, probably lots of legs and okay. backs and clicks. Okay, sounds good. So we're just going to start um, sitting on our mats with our legs across and I know this isn't Paul's favourite position to get into so I'd also encourage any of you that find it sort of challenging to sit cross-legged to maybe put a cushion under your hips so you can elevate yourself Paul you might want to actually use your towel and then I'll keep you there for a bit longer and if you get your towel and sort of roll it or even um, put that in half take the square and make it in half and just stick that under your hips when you come cross-legged and it'll just let your hips sit a little bit higher and then I'll be able to keep you in, um, in a seated position for longer without um, being so uncomfortable. And just once you get yourself into position, just um, crossing your legs whatever way feels comfortable and try and ignore the flies landing on us. Better, I'm, I'm fine generally sitting down, I just don't like the legs down straight. So oh, okay, well you can choose if one of you sat or not, just see how you go. So we'll just breathe into our nose, lift up the chest and then drop the shoulders down. We can do a kind of a couple of breaths with shoulder rolls, so breathe in. Lift the shoulders, roll them back and down. Breathe in. Lift the shoulders, roll them back and down. We'll do one more which will allow us to just settle into a nice tall seated position. So breathe in. As you drop the shoulders, keep the length through the spine. The arms can rest on your knees to the ground beside you. See how it feels, see what position feels just comfortable to maintain that length through your spine. And we'll just do a sequence of um, breathing just to settle ourselves into the space. And now I invite you to close your eyes or soften your eye gaze. Breathing in through our nose. Exhale through nose or mouth. And we just start to become aware of the space we're in. So as you breathe, just start to notice where those connection points are between your body and the mat. Notice the connection between your sit bones and your weight placed evenly both sides. As you breathe in, try to imagine a little bit more length through your spine. Hold that length during your exhale and sit a little bit taller. Feel the crown of your head lengthening up towards the ceiling or the sky. Just a sense of being open through the front of your chest with the shoulders down back and soft feeling a little bit more length through the neck more space being created between the shoulders and the ears breathing in breathing out we'll take three more breaths here together noticing your body where you might be feeling any tightness or any fatigue, any little niggly bits. And as you breathe, just imagine you're directing that inhaled oxygen to those parts of your body which might need a little bit of support this morning. One more breath. So let's take it, keeping our eyes closed, keep, take your hands together, palms facing in. We're going to rub the hands together to create some heat in our hands. 
hands and then placing the palms of your hands over your eyes so creating some darkness but also feeling the warmth fingertips tucking around the forehead and then you're slowly going to take the palms of your hands away from your eyes letting the light come in leaving the fingertips on your forehead from here thumbs to temple fingertips to the top of your head give yourself a little head massage Elbows open wide, shoulders drop down and back, get that length through the head and neck. A little bit of self care before we start. Just telling your body you've come here to do something really nice for it. And then we'll just let the fingertips come behind the back of the head. So just supporting the back of the head, we're going to drop the shoulders and take a little spinal twist to our right. So just shifting your eye gaze. Keeping the elbows level, twist as far as you feel that little stretch, keeping the length. Inhale back through the center. Exhale, twisting to the left. Just supporting the heat with the fingertips. Only go as far as you can without flexing the spine. Inhale through center. Exhale back to the right. Inhale through center. And one more to the left. from here, elbows come together, start to look down, start to round through your spine as you take your eye gaze down towards the ground, elbows might come closer and closer, inhale, start lengthening the spine, the elbows are going to draw back as the eye gaze lifts up, elbows float right back, open up the elbows, lifting the eye gaze, drop the shoulder blades down and back, exhale, elbows come together as we shift the eye gaze down, rounding Inhale, open elbows, back, eye goes up, legs, and we'll do one more in each position. Exhale, elbows forward. Flexion through the spine, looking up, extension through the spine as we open up, lift up, looking up. Nice, and then opening the arms just out beside you, palms facing to the front. Nice, we're just going to roll the thumbs to the back. And that's just going to give some external rotation through the shoulders. So palms facing up now. We're going to inhale. Fingertips come to touch. Exhale, lengthen to the sky. And a little lean over to your left. Keep down through that right sit bone. Inhale through centre, keep reaching up. Arms squeezing beside the ears. Exhale. Side, through the center and up and over. Take one more over to the right. And coming back to the center this time, letting the arms just fall forward, fingertips to the ground in front of you. Take a moment here. Maybe just have a little wiggle through your hips, make sure. Feeling like really grounded through those sit bones. Inhale, breathing in, exhale, just walking the hands forward a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, lower. One more inhale from here. Exhale, lower. We're going to hold this one for a little bit longer. One more, inhale, here, exhale, lower again. And from here, stay low, stay stretched out, and we'll just walk the hands over to the left. Stretching the right side of the body, stay lengthened.
then inhale through center, slowly walking the hands back and towards you. Sitting nice and tall again, just taking the knees in together. Knees come out in front, just give them a wee shake out here. Loosen up. So we're going to do quite a few um, movements this morning that involve twisting through the torso, which is really good for our digestive system. I've said before that we sort of compress it in the twist as we release the twist and floods those internal organs with new blood and oxygen. So here we're going to flex our feet, pulling the toes back towards us. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Left hand comes to the front, right hand to the back. And then the left hand's just going to drop down beside your leg. Just a gentle bit of pressure, reach the arm up beside, trying to keep tall through the spine, looking back behind you. And then you're going to inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, switching the other side, and float the hand up behind. Inhale back through the center, exhale, twist. Little bit of stretch across the 
towards the wall. So we're going to turn around to face each other. And for a start with bent knees, we're going to bring the balls of our feet together. So like when we're kids, we do a lot of play and this might have got you into your typical row, row, row your boat position. But as adults, we don't really do row, row your boat quite as much as we used to. But we're going to reach out for our hands, linking through the fingertips. And we're just going to take turns to draw each other. So Paul's going to draw my chest towards my thighs. I'm going to drop my eye gaze around through my spine. And it's quite a nice supportive position. And then we'll transition and half through centre. Exhale, folding chest to thighs. And you should feel a little bit of support because your chest is sort of landing somewhere. You can sort of hug your body into it. Allow that rounding inhale through centre, switching. Um, and if you're doing this up against a wall, obviously you don't have someone pulling against you. So I'd encourage you to just place your feet up against the wall and then just leaning your body in towards the wall. Maybe your legs are probably stretched out a lot more than ours are. And half through centre. Person pulling, get a nice long spine. Pull a little bit harder or talk to your partner. See if they want more, if they want less. I want more. Okay, I'm going to try and pull it and don't let go because I've got tiles behind me. And even now, as we come through centre, we're going to actually walk our sit bones back, see if they create a little bit more length here as Paul pulls me forward. The other thing we can do, and you can see I've just let my knees come slightly apart, allowing myself to fold a little bit deep now. So here's your other option. Inhale through centre. And Paul, if you want to let the knees drop, you can create a little bit of space your chest to lower down a wee bit more. Feel that? That's great. All except for the nails. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's come back to the centre. We're going to um, just take our legs out into a knee stretch position. So take one leg wide, take the other leg wide. Yeah. Oh, I've got little bumpy things. Okay, so from here, the challenge this time is to see if we can connect to each other, which is a bit further away than where your fingertips. And we might even just, oh, let's have a wee go. Paul's going to draw me forward for a start. Gentle on this one. It's a lot deeper and a little bit more intense. Once again, but your feet can be pressed up against um, a wall and you'll just be leaning forward unless you can work out something that you can grab if you can like if you can wrap a rope or a strap around the back of a table leg and draw yourself down into the stretch and how coming up right your temple Sometimes when you've been in some of these intense stretches that do get your back, it's nice to just have a recovery. So Paul, can you just bring yourself around into Charles' pose? I'll still quite a good recovery here for a post lean against. Oh, okay, we can be like that for a moment and then when you're ready I want you to come down into Charles' pose. Um, and do a wide knee Charles pose, so knees to the outside edge of the mat, big toes touching. So just open the knees, sitting the hips back, coming forward a bit because I'm just going to give you a little bit more on this one, reaching the arms forward, and reach, dropping the forehead down, so go all the way down, reach forward, okay, so I want you to reach the arms as long as they can, spread your fingertips out, ground down through your fingertips, so it's soft through the shoulders, I'm going to come down just a little bit of support on your hips here, and you just can't make this too much or not enough, so from here, and if you've got a partner, this is quite a nice one to do, from here, you're just going to gently press the hips, down a little bit deeper here. Talk to your partner and see how they feel about this. How's oh, that's that? good. Okay, and I'm going to just change position and place my hands just a little bit around the outside of the hips for support. This 
there for and child's pose to soften the hips also in downward dog and I'll encourage people to come up into downward dog soon. How's that feeling? Really good. Really okay, good. so I'm going to release you now. Just come into four point kneeling and I'm just going to get you to do a couple of cat and cow stretches. So bringing your hips under your knees, shoulders under your wrists. You're going to let your spine soften down and take your eye gaze up, which is your shoulders, the belly drops on that one, yeah, nice work, and then you're going to tuck the chin under, tuck the tailbone under, round up through the shoulder blades, feeling this lengthening across the shoulder blades here as you round up, good, and switching, inhale as you drop down through the belly, lifting the eye gaze, and nice work, and then once again, exhale, as you come back up, rounding through the spine, lifting and feeling that lengthening across the shoulder blades. Nice work. And so I'm going to let you just come back into a neutral four-point kneeling position now. So when we say neutral, what I ideally want is we have just, even just softening a little bit here, that's it. Okay, and then I'll ask you to just tuck your toes under at the back, and you're going to prepare to come into downward dog. So the toes tuck under, and now you're going to lift the hips and press the hips up towards the sky. So here we go, all the way up. And so in this position, I'm going to give Paul a little bit of support for his shoulders. So I'm going to press back here, which is going to encourage the heels to press down. other place you can press, so see how that feels, is just pressing down through the hips, so I'm going to press here around the hips, how's that feel? Yeah, good, um, probably the shoulders are better. Okay, so that's why that's a bit of communication is good. So some people might have, um, you know, struggle a little bit with their strength and flexibility through their shoulders, so this might not be a good option, and other people might need that support around their hips. So just From your downward dog position, from here we're going to lift the left leg up, bending the knee. You're going to step the left leg through between the hands, dropping the knee down and coming into a low lunge so that right knee can drop to the ground. Flatten out your foot, so untuck the toes and then we're going to lift up onto our knees. Cool, so I might even just come behind you on this one. Body. I'll take it back a little bit. Nice work. So from here, arms reach up, eye gaze reach up. We're going to sweep the hands back beside the hips and release the toe at the front, folding forward.
and then the hands can come down, tuck the back toes under, and then step back into downward dog, and we'll just finish by going through that on the other side. So this time the right leg's going to lift and bend. We're going to float ourselves forward, shifting body weight so shoulders come over the wrists, stepping the foot through, dropping the left knee, flattening the foot, rising up. Up, squeezing down to the pin ears, softening the hips forward, checking the position of the knee in relation to the ankle. And then hands can come down either side of the foot, leave the left hand down this time, right foot forward, left hand, and then the right hand. Opens for a twist. Good, and now I'm just going to support the ball with this last movement, that's great. So if you're balanced, you're going to just reach, you your eye gaze if you can. Long line from wrist through shoulders for three, two, one, and return it back down. Step back into downward dog for the last time, walking the feet up and down, letting the hips just slide side to side.
Come with a break together, breathe in deep, breathe in wide. Exhale completely, shifting all the air out. And as we bring ourselves back into seated position, you may just want to roll yourself up, you may just want to roll onto your side to just really gently um, move yourself from that lying position to back to seated position. And we'll just come back to close off our practice today. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, slightly adapted couples practice with me and Paul. It's nice to have them back. We used to do stretch and sit together back in lockdown, but that might have been a couple of years ago. Any wise words before we close off? No, it's good to do this, so thank you for letting me come along. Oh, that's, that's really for life, isn't it? All right, thanks everyone. Let's just raise our arms up to the side, take one deep breath in together, inhale, sweep through. Oh. Exhale up and over, have a bit of a shake, have a little bit of a wiggle, anything else that your body needs, just kind of listen to your body if it needs to just have a little bit more time in Savasana or there's some other stretches just to complete. Do take your time, otherwise, until.